Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Shadow. Go get it, types. YouTube channel. What's good? Um, this is going to be a brief video um, just showing you how you can get an uh, even. <clears throat> Sorry about that. How you can always line your graphic up evenly on a t shirt. It's nice and simple, nice and simple. Usually, sometimes what I what I used to do, um, basically what I used to do, I used to um, I used to do this. I'm gonna show you what I used to do. Let me, I'm gonna stop talking and just show you what I used to do. So, so watch carefully. I hope I position this right. You see, my tripod is working pretty good. Jump working real good. All right, so this is what I used to do. See what I used to do. You know what I'm saying? You get your shirt. Just fold it in half. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Fold it in half like that. Bam. So this is one way. But, you know, I've been doing this for a long time now. So I can kind of... I can kind of eyeball it. Eyeball it. And then you just press it down for a little bit. Maybe like two, five seconds, whatever. It don't matter. The the goal is as long as you get this line, you just gotta make sure you get this line showing on there. See, you got that line showing. But the key is to do this. See now that you got this line showing. You see that line? You can see it real good. Mm, look at that line. Look at that line. All right. So now that you got the line going, basically. What you do with your graphic, this is for my homeboy. You just fold it in half, fold it, make sure it's all lined up. Pretty much the edge of that is going to kind of uh, marry or meet the edge of this. Just make sure you fold it in half and stuff like that. Make sure it's nice and neat. Make a nice little crease, little creasy crease. Bam. And then what you do. You place it in the center, and it lines up perfectly. Look at that. Mm, that's perfect. And then always is for when you're doing a t-shirt. Make sure you always um put your graphic down for like four fingers. This is what I do. I call it the four finger rule. Wham. So then um, once you got it four fingers down, three is cool. I usually do three for um, women's t-shirts. Or smaller t-shirts before is like a you know a good size it'll get you consist consistent results every time so four fingers down make sure it's in the center uh this vinyl is from grimco so this is a i put my heat setting to 333 degrees or you could anywhere 330 you know um i just make sure it's 330 so I put it at 3.33, 15 seconds. Um, this is the same Chinese old-ass heat press that I've been using for 10 years. And gave me no problems. Cheap shit from eBay. $150. And then you, you basically smush it on down. And once again, hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. Let me know what uh, videos y'all want to see more of. There you go. And now you got a new shirt. Got a new shirt. Then a lot of times what I usually do after that step, I mean, it's already on there. I just do this just because I have a little OCD. <laughs> I just, um, you know, I go back over it. Press it one more time for like five seconds. I mean, I haven't had, haven't got any uh, customer complaints about my method. I haven't got my any customer complaints about my method. So that shit off, bam. Use a lint roll to get some lint off. Jump, bam, 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 bam. And there you have it. A nice and even T-shirt. Nice and even vinyl T-shirt. All right, I'm out. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, at, comment and uh, subscribe. Hit the notification joint.
Let me know what videos y'all want to see more of. And peace out.